Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, September 8th, 2019. It's Sunday, it's 1.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Um, yesterday I was having a rough time mentally, hallucinations, delusions, paranoia. And I went to the psychiatric emergency room. Um, they didn't seem to deem it necessary to put me back in the hospital when I actually just got out of the hospital a few days ago. Um, I know a lot of people out there will probably say I'm over-relying on uh, the emergency room and the ambulance and the police too much. But I've got to learn to deal with my own problems, and there's truth to that. Um, when I went to the hospital yesterday, the social worker and the doctor suggested that I do more things to help myself um, to prevent psychiatric emergencies where I have to go to the hospital. Um, there's a creative wellness center here in Rochester, New York, that I was referred to by my therapist and my doctor to take part in daily activities to keep me busy and keep me out of the house and keep me from being too isolated. Because being too isolated and doing things alone and not having it a lot of people, or at least some people around you, doesn't have to be a lot, I guess, but um, just to have friends around every once in a while. These things are important and um, keep you out of the psychiatric emergency room, keep me out of the psychiatric emergency room by staying busy with other people. Not that I have to be with other people all of the time, but I also shouldn't be alone all of the time because that leads to psychiatric problems and then the trip to the psychiatric emergency room. And that's a waste of everybody's time and money um, because if I go by police and ambulance to the psychiatric hospital, that costs money. In my case, Medicare and Medicaid pay for it. And if Medicare and Medicaid don't pay for it, then I'm uh, uh, liable for the cost of the ambulance in the emergency room visit. Um, so there is some truth to the fact that I've got to learn to help myself more um, and stay busy and stick to a daily schedule and stay active mentally as well as physically um, and to stay engaged with friends. And if I don't have any friends, I do. But if I didn't, to make friends, to learn how to make friends somewhere. Um, so there is truth to the fact that uh, I'm not helping myself as much as I could. And the goal is to reduce my dependence on the psychiatric emergency room. Some situations it may be necessary to go to the psychiatric emergency room. I'm not necessarily sure it was unnecessary yesterday, but I went anyways. But if I was feeling suicidal or violent, then it might be true, whether I help myself or not, that going to the psychiatric emergency room might be the best thing to do because violence is unacceptable and suicide is un unacceptable. My sister committed suicide when I believe she was in her 40s. She was the third oldest child of 11 children that my parents had same both parents had all 11 children and my sister committed suicide in 1996 um, and that hurt a lot of people her friends her family her brothers and sisters nieces and nephews her own son um, so suicide is unacceptable and violence is also just as unacceptable and i will not use my mental illness as an excuse to do those things and i will go to the psychiatric emergency room as a last resort to prevent those things from happening. And I think I've been successful in that area. But in the long run, I have to learn to help myself and learn to take care of myself and be with friends and be with other people and learn to engage with other people socially as well as in work or education or school or whatever it might be. Um, leave comments, suggestions, um, share, subscribe, like. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me, on how I could help myself, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And uh, I don't censor people's uh, opinions on my uh, comment section of my videos. So feel free to say anything you want, good, bad, ugly, whatever it might be. Um, so I'll talk to you later.